Hi there, welcome back to Baldur's Gate. I'm Baron. All right, all right. Um, let's get out of here. If you so there was uh, this other guy. We did the quest with Dorlex Tower, but there was another guy talking to us about a, a shipwreck or something. We will take a look at that quest too now. Enemy sighted? What? <laughs> One lone cult god, where did you come from? Where were you when the rest of your friends were slaughtered? Oh, well, okay. You chain, uh, share their fate anyway. Okay. That goes to you. So I think it was, uh, the guy was down here. If I remember correctly. Oh, did I check those crates? That's weird. If the Arthing, after dying, he, the cult god made a safe with his death. <laughs> okay. Empty. Yeah, I probably took a look at it what in an earlier video. Get in there. So, you're that guy, right? Mendas. You considered my offer, heroic one? <clears throat> I would be interested to hear more about this favor that you would like me to do for you. Tragic things are happening in this unfair, uh, how you say, world. The men with power, they hurt the men with none. They destroy things that teach us better life. I tell you true, it would be better if those men were not born. This merchant league, these bad men, they find the isle to the west. The island has a broken ship and a uh, shipwreck. Very old shipwreck, they say. Get on with it, man, you're as long winded as Volo. The merchant league sailors see markings on the ship. The shipwreck hero is Baldurin. These men, they think that Baldurin had much treasure on his final voyage. Maybe this was true, but ship also has many artifacts. These things hold knowledge of Baldurin's fate. I wish to recover the ship's logbook. I will solve mystery of Baldurin's final voyage. Merchant League will destroy my artifacts to get treasure. This must not happen. If you help me, I get things precious to me. You get treasure, Merchant Man get nothing. You will help, yes? Um. Yeah. So we have two options here. Though following the plans of innocent merchants gates in my conscience, I will help you. Um, I charter a bo boat forthwith. There's a small problem though. Those men that find Ireland, they keep the sea shards locked up. In Baldur's, in Baldur's Gate? Oh, dang it. We haven't been there yet. There is a building to northeast of city called Counting House. Go find it. Just go northeast from Evsong Tavern. The sea shards, they are in there. Most likely captain of ship will have them. I don't know uh, such things as shards retrieval. Uh, but you are a hero and it's no problem for heroes. There might be small danger, so I give you some gold for the shards. I will wait for you here. <sighs> okay, exactly how much gold could you spare for this dangerous task? I can spare 3000 gold, that's okay. You must try harder than that. Please, kind hero. I'm not rich. I'm a poor scholar. This is all I have. Okay. <laughs> ah, well, there's no, no hurt in trying. I suppose that will do then. I will go to the counting house and retrieve the seed charts. Okay. So, it is. We have to go to Baldur's Gate now. Mendes has sent us to the counting house of the Merchant League in Baldur's Gate. We are to obtain the seed charts for him. Uh, the counting house should be located in the northeastern quadrant of the city. They have quadrants in the city. It's that big, actually. Dang it. Okay, well, f first I thought, that, like, oh I, I don't know eyes. anything about Elf Song Taverns. I just know that this is the inn here, so you could also say it's a tavern. And then I thought northeast, the house, there would be this one here. And... Then I thought, okay, let's get in there and get the chance. 
because it kind of you know makes sense to put the charts in the same town, village, whatever, where you actually need them. Not carry them half across the country. But no, who's missing here? You must gather your party before venturing forth, right? So, but there's only a commoner here, and now she vanished. Very well. But if you talk to her, she says... What are you bothering me for? Uh, it's so exciting that they found Baldurans ship. He was the hero who found Baldur's Gate, you know. Sailed away one day and never returned. Wait, she also said all things. Me for? Don't tell her I said so, but I hear Mrs. Mistress Mallory has the Kalimshan itch. Okay. Who is Mistress Mallory? So obviously what this house is, uh, has nothing to do with it. <sighs> okay. Up. So we have to go to Baldur's Gate. Well, I mean, we would have to go there anyway, right, but I thought right. we could do the whole Sword Coast thingy expansion lot uh, without entering Baldur's Gate. No, we can't. But it's not that far from here to Baldur's Gate. Uh, to the bridge is like 16 hours walk. Wait a second, it's night? Yeah, doesn't matter though. And here we have the bridge. Let's cross it. <coughs> Are you coming? Yes. That's a huge bridge. Are you dead? What would you have there? Is there anything hidden here? Just take a quick look, see. Nope. By temple shield. Why did your spells go again? Oh, because I used them up. Okay. Nature servant awaits. And the same with you. Your wish? Well. Oh. I serve the flaming fist. What? It's a flaming fist mercenary, yay! Uh, the entrance tax is six gold pieces for each par uh, party of travelers. That's cheap. Please announce your point of origin. Mm, how about the mystic land of frolicking naked nymph, where every your every desire is granted by bald, blubbering buckbeers? <laughs> oh, I don't like your sarcasm. If you won't cooperate, then I'll just bring you to talk with my commander. Okay, Citizens, I thought you would attack me. Step oh, okay. Forward. And here comes the commander. Scar. First off, let me introduce myself. I'm Scar, second in command of the Flaming Fist. Though it is not necessary for you to reveal your names, please answer me this. Are you the group that was involved in the fiasco at the Nashville Mines? I wouldn't call it that, but uh, yes, I was involved. I, I mean, we uh, uh, rooted the Iron Throne. Well, from the iron mines, uh, the, the Nashka mines. I wouldn't say that was a fiasco. Okay, the, the mine can't be used anymore now, but that's what it was like before the Iron Throne came anyway. Well, uh, well, I have to say, you've made quite the commotion up there in Baldur's Gate. <coughs> I can't really put my finger on a single source, but there have been many strange happenings going on within the city. It's been getting harder and harder for me to put trust in someone. I need outsiders to do some investigations. People with no connections to anyone within the city. Would you be interested in working for me in such a capacity? Well, if it pays well, why not? Oh, that's a lot of text here. Alright then, what I'm about to tell you must be held in the strictest confidence, do you understand? I need you to begin an investigation of the Seven Sun trading coaster. The Seven Sun's leadership has been acting strangely of late. 
They may have been selling off valuable assets and neglecting many of their more profitable trading ventures. Considering the importance uh, that the trading coaster holds over the economy of the city, the Grand Dukes are noticeably upset. I've gone to talk to the coaster's head, Jasso. He rudely rebuffed me, telling me to mind my own business. Um, I've known Jesse for many years, and this isn't the usual behavior. I can't start an uh, I can't start an official investigation, as there is no real reason for doing so. That's why I need you. Okay. I will already go for it, but there's something you need to know first. We think that the Iron Throne may be behind recent events along the coast. At the mines in Nashgal and Cloakwood, we've learned. Oh wait a second. Oh, the fiasco at the Nashgal mines, not the Cloakwood mines. The Nashgal mines. Well. Well, 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 I stopped them from poisoning the iron, um, there was no fiasco, I made the solution better actually, the situation better actually, so, yeah, well, screw that anyway. <sighs> yep, um, at the mines in Nashgal and in Cloakwood we've learned much about the goals and methods of the Iron Throne, and it does not bode well for the future of this region. Well, this sheds new light on things. There's nothing I can really do about it now, but I'll make sure to look into it. I want you to break into the Seven Suns compound and find out what's wrong. Use stealth in your investigation. I don't want this operation to cause too much fuss. The most important person to watch for is Jesso. Once you've found out as much as possible, report back to me at the Flaming Fist compound. I will pay you 2000 gold for this favor. I have enough gold, actually. The estate is located on the southwest side of town. I wish all of you the best of luck. Remember, once you're done with the Seven Sun Estate, it's imperative that you meet me at the Flaming Fist bar Barracks, which are just west of the Seven Suns. Yeah, 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 don't get your panties on in a bunch. We will be there. And here comes the guard bag. Ding it! Let's just explore the other side of the bridge. As I thought, nothing here. Could, uh, could, can I what would you have? Well? And I guess that's the entrance, or maybe not. Oh, are you trapped? Your wish? Who the hell are you? Quail. Then Quail? No. Do I have to talk to you? Probably, right? If you have a name, you're probably important. Walking alone in the coastway road. How smart is Hey ho there, fellow traveler. You look to be wanderers of the adventuring sort. Tell me, what direction calls you? I'm proceeding in a northerly direction this day. It's all the same as I. Surely this lends us to a familiar bond of sorts. The smart move would be to travel as one, especially with the numbers of bandits in the area. You need, you probably need a counterbalance of my intelligence as well. <laughs> uh, no, and don't call me Shirley. <laughs> I would have. <laughs> Yeah, you know, because surely, <laughs> you know, this lens. <laughs> Don't call me surely, yeah. Just forget it. I should have guessed that your knuckle dragging gate, a minuscule nose, you're the, a complete and utter moron, aren't you? Well, screw you. My party's full. I don't need anybody else. Thank you. Go away. And bother me no more. What do we find here, I wonder? Okay. Hmm. 
My drone has been updated, what did it do? Okay. But there's no exit route here. Okay. But there's water. Plenty of water. Okay. Any monsters, maybe? Like a tannery, for instance? No. <laughs> I'm not prepared to fight another one. I would have to do some buffing first. Resting and then buffing. Okay, up to the north then. Oh, there's an exit bit, okay. Where does it, ah, yeah, well, we have to gather up the party before we can actually go there why are you coming? you're somewhat slow you need boots of speed how many boots of speed are in this game? and Khalid is being stupid again nah, nothing new on that front uh, oh, okay, screw it then alright, alright Okay, so there's got to be an entrance to the city, and probably here. Oh, dang it, it's dark. But this looks like a way of some sort. Cobblestone street. And here's another exit route. Awesome. I guess that means we enter Baldur's Gate now. This is the 98th video, I guess, and we finally enter Baldur's Gate. Elminster. Ah, it is our third meeting. Good day to the young one. What a marvelous happenstance that we should again cross paths, especially in such a grand city as this. Ah, I see by thine eyes that though that loath no time for my wry banter. This true, our meeting was no accident, though I honestly take pleasure in seeing thee again. It's good to see you again. What brings you here? Oh, all citizens of the sword was eventually passed through Baldur's Gate, and I knew thou wouldst as well. Forgive my continuing, continued meddling, but I believe it is warranted, especially considering the pressures, though are no doubt confronting. My pestering of thee certainly pales in comparison to the influence you felt from others, including thine own self. Grain raised thee as best as he could, but it is hard indeed to overcome uh, what is bred in the bone. Much more so in this case, I would imagine. What do you know of Gorain? He was a long, f he was long my friend, and we talked often, though less after he settled down with thee. He was quite a traveler in his day, though he never regretted his new role as foster father. He felt a stable childhood would better prepare thee for, well, the problems that would eventually come. He cared deeply for thee. I hope this was not lost on you. No, it was not. He was a good man, though I would prefer to walk my own path. I was suge suggesting that thou should do otherwise. Oh, no, I was I was not suggesting that thou should do otherwise. Whatever the motives, independence is always a wise course to follow. 
My worry is that thy lineage is harder to escape than most. Thou have blood, thou have bad blood in thee. Thou grinded what he could to teach thee well and true. Thou have hungry blood within thee as well, and it will not let thee go without a fight. For better or worse, what spread in the bone will be dealt with in time. I trust you've been, you have the will to face what is within thee. Well, I know little of what is to come, but I will do what is best. I am sure the future will be kind to thee, for now I will give thee my best wishes and a few names that will serve thee as well. Scour of the Flaming Fist is a good man and well worth trusting. His superior, Duke Elton, is also a good, a good sort. Both are to be believed when they speak. I take my leave and wish thee well. Okay, so we know true honest men in Baldur's Gate. That's... That's something. <sighs> and the journal update again. Again, Elmis has made an appearance, though he was little more forthcoming with information this time. He apparently knew Garan well and thought him a good man to care for me. He also spoke of bad blood and the tank that will consume me if, I, if care is not taken. What this means, I'm not sure. I will heed his warning, though I have little time to dwell on it. He did give me some names, though, of people they feel are trustworthy. Scarf to Flaming Fist and Duke Elton. As words, I can't believe them, if Elminster himself does so recommend. Okay, and you are a nobleman and you are a commoner. Do you have anything to say? Hey there, fella. You're some kind of adventurer, aren't you? Well, I've heard that Commander Scar's been on the lookout for some hardy folk. Won't say he needs more mercenaries, but then that's Flaming Fist business. Oh, thanks for the point. And you, what do you Hello. have to say? Nice to make the acquaintance of such a culture. I have a vested interest in the Seven Suns trading course. It upsets me to no end uh, at how much they have lost to bandits over the far past few weeks. Okay, since the bandits work for the Iron Throne, maybe the golden thingy, coast or whatever its faces, are the enemies of the Iron Throne. That would make them our friends. By like rules of engagement and stuff. So. What do we have here? There is a house. A house. A house. A house is not a mouse. Um, okay. So this is like a one. Oh, dang it. This is just one small part of Baldur's Gate we're exploring here. This is a huge town, I give you that. But okay, we explored a lot of the map already, so we will deal with that too. I don't know what this is, but we will enter. Oh, there's a. The Shop of Silence. I know the Sound of Silence, not the Shop of Silence, so check it out. If we can enter it, actually. Very well. Who the hell are you? Silence. Oh, is this your shop? Silence? Well, okay. Be what do you sell? Friend or be, ye dead? <laughs> be a friend or be your dead? Um, friend. Uh, night children, wayward, are you? Well, you are welcome here so long as you keep your manners about you. There is a cost for each head kept safe. Uh, but I do not feel like charging today. Please rest a while with no worries. Can I sell, uh, buy things here? What do you have? Anything nice? Ah. Uh, what? That, that's all actually? That's like nothing. And nobody can use a cloak of protection. Started level armor plus one is shitty too. <sighs> okay, they uh, have bullets. And potion of agilities. Nobody needs that. And potion of master theory, but uh, Im Imran already has enough of those. But I. I'll speak when I wills it. Not because you're prodding. I've crossed this realm time again and again, and I am thoroughly convinced that many a fight should have been avoided if the combatants simply had a good night's sleep <laughs> for it. Sanctuary may not be so much for hiding as it is for resting nervous bones. It's okay, we could uh, rest here, but they only have peasants' uh, rooms. But okay. You don't regenerate much HP with resting anyways, but I guess if you take a more expensive room, you get a few more HPs. 
But the main effect of resting is just to get your spells back and then heal yourself with the spells. So it doesn't really make a difference. Is that an... Can we enter here too? F song. Oh, the F song tavern. I don't need your gems. How do I get in here? Is there a door? Well, not on this side. Who are you anyway? Sleeping woman. Two guys. Oh, a courtesan and a commoner. I know what they're doing. Okay, okay, okay. That's why they're standing so close to each other. Don't stand so close to me. Oh. Well, okay, I wanna get in here. How do I get in here? Do you have a door somewhere? Courtesans. Lots of courtesans. What do they do? They don't talk to us. Fine. Then don't. Where the fuck is the entrance to that place? This city is a blight on the landscape. Yeah, Jahir is very fond of cities. Okay, we will find an entrance, I'm sure. Oh, there. What is there? This may be another building, though. Screw it. No, it's still have song. Okay, let's get in there now. What you want? White. Commoner. Commoner. Revlik. Commoner. What else do we have here? Serving ranch. Please, seat yourselves whatever you wish. Yeah, there. What do you need to be bothering me? I have work to do. Yeah, well, I thought I could place an order with you, but no. Coternus. I, you be fighters and mages and monsters killers, I'll be ya. <sighs> we may not all be fighters and we may not all be mages, but each of us has a monster's death throes to our name. Why do you ask? The roads be lined with bandits of every ilk and descriptions, but the most fearsome be the monstrous hobgoblins. We eat hobgoblins for breakfast. Do us all a favor and put a blade to their gut. Oh yeah, well that... You want some whiskey? What do you have? Mind your manners of the patrons, everybody's just here to relax. So would you like a drink? Yes. Oh yeah, but he doesn't sell anything. But at least you could get a royal room here. Not that I want one, but okay. Hurry up! If you insist. So you also had a name, is that right? Ravik? Hello! Uh, hello, shh. Um, I mean hello. Might I have a moment of your uh, time? Oh, this is exciting, isn't it? Oh wait, you wouldn't think so. You probably you're probably used to it. Ah yes, well um um you um how do I approach this? You um are for hire? I mean uh, I need a job done. Get my tent a job done. Slightly hush hush. I believe you would say. Ah, uh, uh, speak your mind so I might n might know your meaning. I should like to procure your talents for a unique service, though it's not like you would have to do anything socially untoward. Well, perhaps a bit, though not so much untoward as um, illegal. What's the score, my little friend? That's the spirit. Uh, the little larcery needed never hurt anyone. A little. Large since he never hurt anyone. Well, it won't hurt me anyway. Get to the point, man, and to be fair, I would prefer if no one else suffered any injury during this exploit. I mean, I want you to steal something, but I want you to do this uh, in as nice in as a nice way as possible. It's roguery on par with uh, Danilo Than of Waterdeep, and I'll pay you well. 500 gold for one night's work. It's better than you could hope for in a year on the docks. 
You can stop trying to sell me, I'm interested. Just tell me what the actual job is and why you're willing to take such a risk. But finally, we get to the point here. Dang it! You gotta be kidding me! <laughs> oh, it's a marvelous trinket. A wondrous, curious little toy from distant Latin. What did they all call it? Oh yes, a telescope. Of all things, it's a misleading name for such an interestingly crafted artifact. Golden extra force would have suited its craftsmanship so much better. There's not another like this on the on there's not another like it this side of the trackless sea. Most gnomes have a fixation of sorts, but I don't share the love of gems that possesses my kin. I prefer to fit the feel of metal and the intrications of the mechanical. Not that I necessarily understand the function, but it's not right for such an item to be locked away regardless. It was meant to be used and to be held by loving hands, and if those hands just happen to be mine, more the better. The tele thingy is on display in the Hall of Wonders, and where in, in the possession of anyone else it might have been purchasable. Um, no doubt you know that the Hall of Wonders is an extension of the High House, the Temple of Gond. Being the god of artifice and invention, his followers take to revering mechanical devices and will not part with an original at any price. It is not as though they make proper use of such things, keeping them behind locked doors where loving hands cannot explore their subtleties. Uh, the teller who wants it was used was made to be used, not worshipped. Yes, skip it. I will get it. Five hundred gold for all that. This is not a bad effort. I think you could do better. It's a very risky adventure, I'm going to do that, perhaps I can sweeten the perspective a little, I will add a magical item from my own personal collection. It will be difficult to part with one of my treasures, but definitely worth it. Will it suffice for you? Uh, it is certainly a difficult task you have set before me, you windy little man, but I will accept the challenge. Oh, wonderful. Fine. So, well, that one actually talks too much and says too little. So we have agreed to steal a telescope for a gnome named Brevlik. The telescope is located at the Hall of Wonders. Brevlik will be waiting for us at the F song. Okay, and I think we should take a break what here and continue in the next video. So, thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Bye.